Holy Father, a butcher's boy of St. Patrick's Market, Dublin, or Irish background, among whom the exclamation or oath by the Holy Father, meaning the Pope, is common. Holy Lamb, a thorough-paced villain, Irish. Holy Water, he loves him as the devil loves holy water, i.e. hates him mortally. Holy Water, according to the Roman Catholics, having the virtue to chase away the devil and his imps. Hollow, it was quite a hollow thing, i.e. a certainty or decided business. Honest man, a term frequently used by superiors to inferiors. As honest a man as any in the cards when all the kings are out, i.e. a knave, I dare not call thee rogue for fear of the law, said a quacker to an attorney. But I will give thee five pounds, if thou canst find any credible person who wilt say thou art an honest man. Honest woman, to marry a woman with whom one has cohabitated a mistress, as a mistress, is termed making an honest woman of her. Honeymoon, the first month after the marriage, a poor honey, a harmless, foolish, good-natured fellow, it is all honey or a tard, which them said of persons who are either in the extremity of friendship or enmity, either kissing or fighting. Hoodwinked, blindfolded by a handkerchief or other ligature bound over the eyes. Hoof, to beat the hoof, to travel on foot. He hoofed it or beat the hoof every step of the way from Chester to London. Hook and snivvy with Nix the buffer. This rig consists in feeding a man and a dog for nothing and is carried on thus. Three men, one of who pretends to be sick and unable to eat, go to a public house. The two well men make a bargain with the landlord for their dinner, and when he is out of sight, feed their pretended sick companion and dog gratis. Hooky walker, an expression signifying that the story is not true or that the thing will not occur. Hooked, overreached, tricked, caught, a simile taken from fishing. Fuck hooks, fingers, hookers, sea anglers. Hoop, to run the hoop, an ancient r marine custom. Four or more boys having their left hands tied fast to an iron hoop, and each of them a rope called a nettle in their right. Being naked to the waist, wait the signal to begin, this being made by a stroke with a cat of nine tails, given by the boat drain to one of the boys, he strikes the boy before him, and everyone does the same. At first the blows are but gently administered, but each irritated by the strokes from the boy behind him, at length lays it on in earnest. This was anciently practiced when a ship was windbound. To hoop, to beat, our oh, well hoop his or her barrel, I'll beat him or her soundly. To hop the twig, to run away cunt, hop merchant, a dancing master, see caper merchant, hop o' my thumb, a diminutive Diminutive person, man or woman, she was such a hop of my thumb that a pigeon sitting on her shoulder might pick a pea out of her ass. Hopkins, Mr. Hopkins, a ludicrous address to a lame or limping man, being a pun on the word hop. Hopping guiles, a jeering appellation given to any person who limps or is lame. St. Giles was the patron of cripples, lepers, etc., Churches dedicated to that saint commonly stand out of town, many of them having been chapels to hospitals. See Giles. Hopper asked, having large projecting buttocks from their resemblance to a small basket, called a hopper or hoppet, worn by husbandmen for containing seed corn when they sow the land, horns, to draw in one's horns, to retract an assertion through fear, Metaphor borrowed from a snail who, on the apprehension of danger, draws in his horns and retires to his shell. Horn colic, a temporary priapism. Horn fair, an annual fair held at Charlton in Kent on St. Luke's Day, the 18th of October. It consists of a riotous mob who, after a printed summons, dispersed through the adjacent towns, meet at Cockles Point near Deptford and march from the from vents in progressant procession through that town and Greenwich to Carlton with horns of different kinds upon their heads and at the fair there are sold rams horns and every sort of toy made of horn even the gingerbread figures have horns the vulgar tradition gives the following history of the origin of this fair king john or some other of our ancient kings 
being at the palace of Elfam in this neighbourhood and having been out of a hunting day, rambled from his company to this place. Then a mean hamlet, when entering a cottage to inquire his way, he was struck with the beauty of the mistress, whom he found alone, and having prevailed over her modesty, the husband returning suddenly surprised them together and threatened him to kill them both. The king was obliged to discover himself and to compound for his safety by a purse of gold and a grant of the land from this place to Cockold's Point. Besides making the husband master of the hamlet, it is added that in memory, memory of his grant and the occasion of it, this fair was established for the sale of horns and all sorts of goods made with that material. A sermon is preached at Charlton Church on the fair day. Horn Mad. A person extremely jealous of his wife is said to be horn mad. Also a cuckold who does not cut or breed his horns easily. Horn work, cuckold making, hornified, cuckolded, horse bus, a kiss with a loud smack, also a bite. Horse cosa, a dealer in horses, vulgarly and corruptly pronounced horse courses, the verb to cose was used by the Scots in the sense of bartering or exchanging. Horse godmother, a large masculine woman, a gentleman-like kind of lady. Horse ladder, a piece of Wiltshire whip, which consists in sending some raw lad or simpleton to a neighbouring farmhouse to borrow a horse ladder in order to get up the horses to finish a hay mow. Horses meal, a meal without drinking. Hosteler, i.e. oat stealer, hostlers was originally the name for an innkeeper, inns being an old English style. Hostels from the French signifying the same. Hot pot, ale and brandy made hot. Hot stomach. He was so hot a stomach that he burns all the clothes off his back, said of one who pawns his clothes to purchase liquor. House or tenement, to let, a widow's weeds, also an achievement, marking the death of a husband set up on the outside of a mansion, both supposed to indicate that the dolorous win widow wants a male com comforter. Hordon, a romping girl. Hubble bubble, confusion, a hubble bubble fellow. A man of confused ideas, or one thick of speech, whose words sound like water bubbling out of a bottle, also an instrument used for smoking through water in the East Indies, called likewise a calloon, and hooker. Hubble de shuff, confusedly to fire hubble de shuff, to fire quick and irregularly old military term. Hubbub, a noise, riot, or disturbance. Huckle my buff, beer, egg, and brandy made hot. Huxter's. It's an errant retailers of provisions. He is in Huxter's hands. He is in a bad way. To hew. To lash the cove was hewed by the Naskin. The rogue was soundly lashed in Bridewell. Cunt. To huff. To reprove or scold at anyone. Also to bluster, bounce, ding or swagger. A Captain Huff. A noted bully to stand the huff. To be answerable for the reckoning in the public house. Hug. To hug Brown Bess, to carry a firelock or serve as a private soldier, he hugs it as the devil hugs a witch, said of one who holds anything as if he was afraid of losing it. Hugger mugger, by stealth, privately, without making an appearance, they spent their money in a hugger mugger way. How got on a bonne quifinarians, a society existing in 1748, hulky or hulking, a great hulky fellow, an overgrown clumsy lout or fellow, Holverheaded, having a hard impenetrable head, Holver in the Norfolk dialect, signifying holly, a hard and solid wood, to hum or hugbug, to deceive or impose on the one by some story or device, a humbug, a jocular imposition or deception, to hum and haw, to hesitate in speech, also to delay or be with difficulty brought to consent, to any matter or business. Hums. Persons at church. There is a great number of hums in the autumn. Autumn. There is a great congregation congregation at the church. Hum box. A pulpit. Hum cap. Very old and strong beer. Also called stingo. Sea stingo. Humdrum. A humdrum fellow. A dull, tedious narrator. A boar, also a set of gentlemen who, Bailey says, used to meet near the Charter House or at the King's Head in St. John Street, 
who had more of a pleasantry and less of mystery than the Freemasons. Humdurgian, an imaginary illness. He has got the Humdurgian, the thickest part of his spies, nearly his arse, i.e. nothing ails him except low spirits. Humbugs, the brethren of the Venera Venerable Society of Humbugs, was held at Brother Hallam's in Goodman's Field. Hummer, a great lie, a rapper, see rapper. Humming liquor, double A-O, stouts. Pharaoh, see Pharaoh. Hummums, hummums, a bagneo or bathing house. Humtrum, a musical instrument made of a mop stick, a bladder and some pack thread. Hence, also called a bladder and string and hurdy-gurdy. It is played on like a violin, which is sometimes ludicrously called a humstrum. Sometimes, instead of a bladder, a tin canister is used. 